A screening workflow is one where the ion trap is used to help us identify what analytes are present in our unknown samples. This workflow differs from a quantitation workflow because we are generally not looking for the concentration of an analyte in the vial, rather if it is present or not in the sample. To reprocess data in the qualitative workflow, please follow the following steps. Start by clicking Process Data. Choose the test that was used to acquire the samples and click Next. Select the data set to reprocess. Clicking the arrow to the left of the sample batch name shows all of the samples that were collected within that batch of samples. You can choose to process as many of the samples as required by checking the box to the left of the sample name. Checking the box to the left of the batch name will reprocess all of the samples collected in that batch. In this example, I will choose to process only two or three samples. Next, I will select a project name. Projects are a way to organize our data. Select the project name and the process data will go into this directory. Click Next. Select a reporting option. Here, we can either select a batch report, where the generated report will be one large file containing all of the samples, or we can select a per sample report, where we will generate a separate report for each individual sample processed. I will select a per sample report and click Next. Select which processing parameters to use. Data can be processed either using the original quantitation method file or with current, updated integration parameters. Selecting current, the software will use the most recent update to the processing method and use this file to integrate the data. Review peaks before reporting. If I choose yes, Analyst will open data files to allow me to look at the chromatograms for each analyte and adjust the integration parameters as necessary. Selecting No will output and process the data without any review on my part. I will select No and hit Next. Choose the report style to output your process data. I only have one report style, CES Matching Hits and this will be the report I will use to output my data. Select the format for the report output. This can be Word, PDF, or email notification. Lastly, I will input a name for this job. Here I will call this job Reprocessing of Pesticide Screening Method and hit Submit. The software takes me back to the home screen, where I can watch a trio of blue dots cycle to green as my data is being processed. I can highlight the job and go to the Reports tab to watch the report generation from this screen as well. Since I selected a per sample report, the report generation will be for each individual sample. Once a report has been processed, the three dots will turn into a check mark to the left of the sample name, and I can open up that report and view the output. In my carrot sample, we can see that I have one positive hit. This is for dimethoate. Dimethoate returns with a purity score of 82%. I can scroll down and look at the MRM for the peak and the spectra that was collected underneath this MRM transition. The top spectrum shows me the acquired spectrum for the actual sample and the lower spectrum is the entry in the library. I can visually see that these two spectra resemble each other and I also have the confirmation of a good fit and reverse fit score for this sample. 
All of these clues indicate that this carrot sample has tested positive for dimethoate. If I would like to reprocess the data for the sample because I question the way the software has integrated the peak, I can simply click Data Review to the left of the peak name. This will open Analyst for the sample and allow me to reprocess the sample as I deem necessary. I can make any required changes and save and close. The report will run again, this time using the quantitation method I have just updated. At the end of all of my report generation, each of my samples has a green check mark. And if I go to the home screen, my job will also have a green check mark next to its name, indicating that all the data processing has been complete. Again, please keep in mind that all reports can be customized for the output required in your lab, and if you would like output into a LIM system, this can also be arranged. Please speak with your ABCIX sales representative for more information.